for me, work-life balance is effectively about reducing stress. It's it's about making everything more equal, um, so that work doesn't feel overly stressful. Uh, and equally, I think as a business owner, life away from work can be stressful if you if you let things overlap too much. If you're constantly in your downtime, having to think about work, worry about work, distracted by phones. Um, it's that, yeah, it's that kind of almost ambient stress level you can never get away from if, if you're allowing things to constantly interrupt life. And so for me, that, that work-life balance is about finding a way of making everything a bit more even. I think for me, it's, it's been harder, I think, the work-life balance because you are confined to a single space. I know loads of people do work from home and they make it work really well. Um, and uh, they find ways of balancing everything out and you know, I maybe haven't found that yet. Um, and so, you know, I, I, at the moment, the lines are a little bit more blurred. Um, you know, I've got young family. They are around me all the time. They want my time, my attention, the fact that I'm here and about. Um, and, you know, you want that too, but, you know, you've got to focus on work. But I think when you're combined in this one space, there's this maybe slightly constant sense of selfishness that you know there are other people around you who want you and want your time and you're having to say no I've got to do this or I've got to do that um, and so then I think it makes it harder when you want to have those little bubbles of time to yourself um, so I was just talking to you just before this about like kind of going for a run is it, something that, uh, that has been good for me to get that little bit of headspace um, but you know, when you've got family around, you want to go for your, your walk, your one walk a day. Well, you want to do that with them. So you don't get that that personal time, everything, you know, that there's good to that family connection, but everyone needs that little bit of time to get away and get in their own heads. One of the, the key things you're trying to do is kind of recreate the commute to work. Because uh, in a way, the commute to work is a nice kind of boundary in between the two. So you go from having a bit of family time in the morning, commute to work as you transition into that work environment. So um, kind of almost trying to recreate that either kind of by going for a run or kind of just leaving the house, going for a walk, um, uh, just just to kind of break that, that up uh, and keeping as much as possible to the routines that used to work. So um, same kind of routines in the morning at the end of the day and things like that and trying to break things up. Um, I guess a silver lining is that at lunchtime I can break off and I can go and spend time with the family. So, yeah, not having a full commute and having a lunchtime at home, I actually get slightly lo longer pockets of time with, with the kids and, and with the family, which is good. Um, and then kind of at the evening, kind of at the end of the day, trying to make sure I still cut off at a reasonable time, get back to things like sitting down and eating with the kids and spending time with them. Um, trying to find a little bit of time for myself in amongst that if I can. And then if, if necessary, once things kind of quiet down in the evening, I get back onto emails and things like that. Um, and that's the kind of thing I, I'd normally try and avoid is that kind of when I'm home, I'm home, when I'm at work, I'm at work. But obviously as that has blurred a bit um, and I do get a bit more kind of free time, maybe in amongst the day, uh, kind of using the hours as efficiently as I can. I don't, I don't know if we've done anything specific other than just talking, really. I think it's, um, we said right at the start of this and we said it to clients, we think the most important thing through this whole thing is just communication. And we've tried to keep that going as much as possible um, and keep keep our team kind of in check and, and knowing what they need to do and what they don't need to worry about. Um, and I think the same with clients. I think clients have been very, very understanding. I think in particular, given there's a lot of stress around for people at the moment, you know, people want to know whether they're eligible for certain funds and grants and people want to know kind of what's going to happen with the business. Are they going to be OK? Um, and they want, you know, those kind of answers really urgently. Um, actually, people have been incredibly understanding uh, and supportive. Um, we've had loads of very, very positive feedback. And it is about communication if we say to people that you know we're helping you on this but it's taking us a little while most people are quite happy and i think it is that constant communication and, and people know that we're all in a slightly different working environment and so far we've been able to <laughs> avoid any late night pestering and, and things like that so um yeah i think i think it just boils down to that communication piece I think there's, there's the things that I'm striving to do myself and I, I wouldn't at all say I'm getting them all right. It is things like taking time for you. Um, I think realizing that 
uh, it's not selfish to take a little bit of time to make sure you're okay. Um, read a book, go for a run, go for a bike ride, watch something on telly, whatever, whatever it is that you need to get your kind of head cleared and a little bit of time for yourself is really, really important. And, uh, you know, I think we all know, we can all talk it, it's, it's doing it is, is very different, but taking that time for yourself means you'll be better when you're in that family scenario, it means you'll be better when you're working. Um, but it's a very difficult thing to do and it, it can feel selfish when you, when you press the, the pause button. Everyone gets affected in some way at some point in their lives by by poor mental health. It doesn't necessarily have to be a very serious thing, but everyone has their moments. And, you know, I think the more we support each other, the better. Um, I think openness and honesty and communication is all really important. It's making sure that people aren't overworked, um, making sure that people know they have an outlet if they do feel overworked and people to talk to. Um, and you know one of the things kind of we always try and work to do it seems really silly but it's just we work very very hard as a firm to get work done well before deadlines just because silly things like leaving things late just adds unnecessary anxiety and stress um, so we work very hard within our processes to make the team well set up and aware of what's needed of them well in advance so we can you know just help everybody out um, try and keep those stress levels low. It's that kind of you talk about ambient stress level. Just keep that kind of general feeling of, of anxiety and stress as low as possible. And I think one thing that's been probably a really good silver lining out of what's happening at the moment is I think people have and do take maybe a little bit more time to just step back. And when things don't quite go the way they want, people are giving each other a little bit more of kind of benefit of the doubt and supporting each other. And I think that's something that, that you know hopefully we can carry on once this is all over and things go back to normal as well.